What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one, okay? Here to deliver you this message. One of those messages being that abundance is your motherfucking birthright. Okay? I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are blessed and feeling highly favored. Okay, if you are not feeling that way, then I speak that into your life. I speak that into your world. Okay? And I do hope that tomorrow morning when you wake up, you claim it. You start claiming it. You just start new habits like that. I think it's coming out for someone. Maybe you need to start start new habits, good habits for yourself. And you've been thinking about it and praying about it and meditating on it. Certain things could have to do with the diet, could have to do with a lifestyle, a habit. And you're finally ready for that change, that move, you know. This is probably your confirmation I'm just looking for reversals. I just shuffled the heart, the cards hella hard. Um, I do read reversals. I just like them to come out based off of probability. I mean, not probability, based off of intention rather than probability. If a tarot reader that you see does it a different way, that does not mean that they do not have a gift. That does not mean that the divine does not commune with them. Okay, we only fix other people's crowns on this channel. And just like you would avoid someone at work or a friend or whatever, that a relative that talks shit about other people, you should do the same, especially with those that claim to be a part of the spiritual community. Okay? Thank you, angels, ancestors, and guides for this message. This is for the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. To whom I am a part of, but this reading I am not wonder what's going to come out for you today. Go ahead and send me all that good vibe, that good energy. I send it right back to you tenfold, which you send to me. All right, let's get into this, okay? And the way I communicate with the audience, in case you're new here, if you like it, let me know it resonates, but go ahead and comment. Um, if you want me to pray over you, um, or if you just genuinely just want to vent to the community, um, I, I almost always reply back or, or like someone's comment. I'm very active in the comment sections. Um, so please feel free to do that. Obviously, if you like the vibe, subscribe, but these messages are not exclusive to me. They are exclusive to you, my love. Okay. I'm channeling your energy. Um, so you could have already been receiving a lot of these messages through other tarot readers or songs or friends advice. Um, but just want to kind of put that out there that I do think that the message will get to you regardless of if you subscribe or not. Um, but if you do, I pray over my comment section and I pray over my subscribers. I pray wealth and health and love over my subscribers. Um, so that's a thing. <laughs> Let's see what comes out for you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, goodness. Well, I need four cards. We've got Ten of Pentacles, um, the Cherry card, the Star card, and the Hierophant. Crossing this energy is the Pisces card. This this is wild. There's an um, There's a huge offer coming to you. This Ten of Pentacles, and it's coming in fast. This is coming in a lot sooner than you know it. Um, and this is something you've been desiring, something you've been wanting. But not just wanting, you also want to keep it. So it's some some sort of opportunity, some sort of level of abundance that you don't just want to come into. You want to keep forever. Because a lot of people are just very focused on getting it. But a lot of most people are not focused on keeping it. You are very much in the mindset of getting it and keeping it, whether this is finances or um, some sort of some sort of offer. Um, abundance. Yeah, this is Ten of Pentacles, the chariot card. So here's your cards right here. Here are your cards. And so I just want to cover her uh, her up, but she's like a goddess on Earth. OK. And so this is telling me that there's something coming in when it comes, and this is about hearth and home. So if you're in a relationship, like let's say if you're dating someone, if you're living with them or dating them, they want to take it to the next level. This could be something that you want. If let's say you're doing, everything's doing good financially or with your work, 
um, suddenly you're going to hear that there's this new opportunity and you'll be like, what? But I'm, I, it, it, because you're so used to only, you're not used to like blessing on blessing on blessing. I'm speaking to someone that, that is just not used to that. That's not your pattern in life. Like you've had it really rough and usually you, every, you sparingly get great opportunities and you, you've done a really good job of making sure you ride those out, but it's never like back to back to back. And this is saying that there's a lot coming to you back to back to back. But if you have a court case going on, it's going to go in your favor. If there's some, there's something that if you're going towards, if you want it, you're going to get it. You're just emulating that aura right now. And then crossing this energy is the, the hangman. Strong Pisces energy here with the enlightenment. Please be making sure you're cleansing your crown chakra. But more importantly, this is... This is someone who has mastered the art of manifesting by walking in gratitude and by living as though it's already theirs. This person is enlightened hanging from this tree because they know that this tree is not what binds them. It's their mind. They know that they can strategize. They, it's like that light bulb moment. You know, so there isn't anything holding them back, not their circumstance hanging from this tree, not the tree itself. The only thing to this person's mind in this card being depicted, okay, the only thing, the only thing that's holding them back is their mind. That is probably the healthiest state of being, of awareness that you can be in, is to always look to yourself first and to hold yourself first accountable, to, to seek resolution within yourself first before immediately saying it's the outside world or it's this person or it's this circumstance look inward first this is coming out for somebody let's see what's coming out next year we have the emperor card you are getting a lot of major arcana your angels are screaming at you right now girl okay whether you are male or female i don't care this is my channel and i say girl and bitch very non-gendered okay so crossing this energy is the sun card, bro. What the fuck? Okay, so you got the emperor card. I'll show you the cards in a second. The emperor card, the 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 moon card, reverse, the three of cups, and the ten of wands. Another ten. Another ten. And you know, I'm sitting there with the previous message wondering, what is this that's coming in or why is this message coming out? And it seems that this message is coming out because you didn't see this coming. There's an emperor that you have anticipated. Like this is a, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to break down these first cards because there's the chariot, the wish fulfillment and the, and it seems that they all belong to, they all have their own message of what this offer is, what this 10 of pentacle is. And this first pen, Ten of Pentacles, there's three blessings coming into your life. This first Ten of Pentacles is about an emperor, is about an Aries, um, that you almost, you almost always knew this person would come back, but you, you didn't, you didn't know when, and when they do come in, it is going to be unexpected because they're not going to be on your mind. Um, you, you will have healed so much or even, not even healed. Like I'm not sensing that this person did anything to you. It's just, you know, this person just sat on your mind. They're far removed from your world. Y'all don't talk no more. It's not even nothing bitter. It's just don't talk. It's simple as that. So far on the board, just so you know, we've got Cancer, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, and Leo. Um, energy and Pisces. So that this emperor, like I said, and especially with this moon card reverse next to it is, is telling a story that you always knew and then seeing it come to manifestation is going to be very jarring for you. Um, this person is coming in because they miss your energy. They miss laughing with you. They miss the good times. They're continuously reminiscing on what you guys shared. And it's really the good times because again, I'm not sensing someone that that um cheated on you or abused you um maybe i don't know how you guys fell out or stopped talking but it's something that neither one of you wanted 
And it's very obvious that both of you don't like the way things ended with this Ten of Wands at the end of this, this message here, because it's coming right after this Three of Cups. So that lets me know that this person felt like they were starting... If they walked away, I'm just going to let you know that after they walked away, they realized that they were walking away for no reason. And that also, in a sense, they were like starting all over because you were the perfect fit. You were the perfect piece to their puzzle. And they, well, lost the puzzle piece. So now they have an incomplete fucking puzzle. They did all, put all this work together. So now let me show you the cards. Emperor, the moon... Oh, I thought I, thought I heard um, one of the dogs outside. Um, the the moon card reverse, the three of cups upright, and the ten of wands. This is the second ten that has come into your, your reading. So this is letting you know this is straight up about fucking cycles and new beginnings for you. So uh, that's on the front right now as far as someone coming in. And I know that this is some sort of love match or soulmate or someone destined for you. Someone with unfinished business of some sort that's coming in that honestly is going to make you really, really happy. It's like a love story. It really is like a love story. Crossing this energy is the sun card. It's the happiest card in the deck that you guys might have end up having a child together. You guys might end up having a child together or this is someone that you might have a child with and... You both are wanting to reconcile in some way, or you've always wanted to reconcile with um, the mother or child of uh, of the mother or father of your child. Goodness. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's see what else is coming in because that's immediate with like with love. There's someone coming in. There is a person. And they miss you and they are wanting to come in and start a new a new cycle with you because the old cycle and the cycle that they're in right now does not suit them. They hate it. They're miserable. Meanwhile, for you, I'm sensing that you did go through a period of time where you felt either hurt or rejected or alone. But that was so long ago. And you addressed it that now it's distant. It's removed from your life. So yes, when this person's come back, you're going to be like, oh, oh, hi. Uh, and, there's, and I'm sensing, um, yeah, that's what I'm sensing. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. There's another message here as far as wish fulfillment um, and as far as gaining something, gaining clarity. Oh. The Hermit card. Can I get two, three more cards, please? Three more cards. Nine of Cups. Thank you, angels, ancestors, and guides. Okay. 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 There is an idea that you've been thinking about. There is a plan, a strategy, a job, a degree, like a level of education or certification, something that you've been working towards, towards completion. And I think you're feeling kind of weary and you're at the kind of like the end of your road and, and you're just feeling worn down is what it seems like you're in this hermit energy. It doesn't seem like you've gone out a lot, um, in these recent months or even years, like a lot of self-isolation. I want you to know that this is about to pay off huge. This is about to pay off huge. And you are about to get the work that you've been wanting to. You're about to receive messages about what you want. As far as finances, they're about to receive information on a promotion or if you pass an exam or if you got that's when there's something about that is about to come in and oh my God, is your heart full of fear. And that, that's such a shame, but at least it's poising you for the position of what I'm seeing, which is absolute joy and self-fulfillment and being just completely f pleased with yourself and happy with yourself and just proud of what you've accomplished, what you've put in and what you got out of it. You took a chance on yourself. You invested in yourself. This could have been you starting a business, like I said, going after a degree, certification, um, job promotion, switching jobs, moving overseas, something 
where you took a chance on yourself career-wise or financially in general, and it's paying out and you're about to get, not only has it paid out and you're like hitting your stride, bitch, when I tell you you're about to start getting phone calls and messages, there's some shit that's about to pop off. Like you are just, you are, money is attracted to you right now. Money is like, oh shit, is that Pisces? I belong with Pisces. That's money right now. Like, <laughs> I'm loving that for you because you are about to receive all this correspondence. It could be confirmation for some of you that are like, I wonder if I got that job. I wonder if I interviewed well or, uh, you know, it's it's all aligning. So here's, here's the cards right here. We've got the Hermit card, Virgo Energy. Um, we've got the Nine of Cups letting me know that this isolation, this focus that you've put on, you've put into and this is let me cover up her shmetis hatatas okay this is the wish fulfillment card remember earlier i said i'm going to translate all three of these cards and we've done the chariot card so far so what's coming in fast a wish fulfillment that's that's presenting itself and this is what it is look at this look that's the star card right what's inside of this little fucking lantern that's right pisces bitch don't talk back to me <laughs> i'm serious in nine of, nine of cups Nine, it's right after that, like this, this is paying off all this hard work, all this attention to this goal, this ambition of yours, this new adventure, it is going to pay off in ways that you didn't even imagine. Like you already knew some obvious shit was going to pop off financially for yourself and because you've, you're hitting your stride, you're a lot more mature, a lot more experienced, a lot, calm, I'm hearing cool headed as well, a lot more professional um, in, along in your career, you know, and the, you're about to hit even more and it's going to really take you back because you're not used to getting so much blessing. So unexpectedly, you're just like, <sighs> and so I, it's really important that you don't think something's going to happen to your finances or yourself or your position once this happens, because it, that kind of ne negativity is only going to bring in neg why would you speak that over yourself you know what i'm saying as soon as a blessing comes in the first thing you go to is oh how is it going to be taken away from me stripped from me how is you know how is it how am i going to ruin it you're already speaking a curse over your blessing don't do that don't mentally defeat yourself that way okay baby right after this we've got the queen of pentacles reverse so upright upright so with, well whichever way you turn this card it's the queen of pentacles no yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? <laughs> um, if you're new to the channel, you know that I like to be very descriptive about my tarot. I am big on people understanding the cards and the imagery um, and interpretation. And, and, I, and I do hope that you try to pick up tarot yourself if you feel called to it. Anyways, so this is the, regardless of which way this is turned, you know, diagonal, horizontal, vertical, upside down, it's still the queen of pentacles. And I need you to know that. Okay. Remember what I just talked about? So this is coming out reversed. There is a reason for you to pull away from this mindset. That you have to stay right here out in the cold stone ground. I mean, not only in the, in a freaking cement, a uh, cement, uh, throne, but you're at the bottom of a tree and this, does she look, just look at her face. Tell me that's not resting bitch face. She don't want no one to touch her coin. She don't want no one around her. There's fear. There's a lot, there's a sense of fear in this person when it comes to the coin in their hand as far as someone else having access to it. And I get it. You've must have you must have gone through either severe poverty, homelessness, um insecure food insecurity you, you've gone through some real gone without transportation for years maybe you've gone through a lot of things so now that you have hit your stride you're financially stable you know you have these blessings i can see why the first thing that comes to mind is how do i protect what i have and while that is something that you should be doing it's coming from a place of fear it's not coming from a place of of how do i how do I manifest more money? How do I, in that sense, protection, it's more of like, how can I, you know, like my precious and it's like, bro, you're going to get more, but you're right away thinking, but what if I don't get more? I might not get more. And see what I mean? Like you're immediately leading 
with this lack mentality, even though you're receiving a blessing. So, so you got to walk away from, from that mentality. You're, you're being guided to do that. The next card is the four of cups and this is reversed, but upright like this. So it's, it came out reversed, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, this is a sense of regret. This is being depressed. This is self-sabotage. This is, am I good at imposter syndrome? For sure. You know, someone, you know, you're not thinking you're good enough or you're worthy enough. And this could be about your finances or what you think you have to offer. But these two people don't match up. And this is where you're being taken right now. So no wonder this is reverse telling you don't, don't you even fucking dare. You're getting advice here. You're getting advice here on how to receive your money and how to navigate your intuition when it comes to finances. It's a flow. Money is a flow. It's not, it's a thing that's passed around. You don't hold on to it. You spend money, you buy things, you, you pay back loans. I mean, come on. It's a, and, and, and. So even in a physical sense, it flows, but you got to think of it metaphysically. And it is something that flows that's generated to know it's just going to come. It's just going to be there. And you need to feel that strongly in your, in your heart and in your mind. And a wave of peace should match that. If you're wondering what that should feel like and look like as far as your intuition, because I'm a, a lot more experienced, obviously, with my intuition, that's what it should feel like. And it, and the more you, you, you lean into that when it comes out, that's that sense of intuition that feels so peaceful. When that wave comes over you, that's your intuition letting you know it's go time. Okay. So that's just, maybe someone needed to hear that because it's hard for you to interpret your intuition. For me, my intuition feels like when I'm hungry and I need to eat, like that's how strong the, the sense comes on for me. The same way someone feels hungry and they know they need to eat, the same way you feel a sensation and you know you need to go relieve yourself in the restroom, the same thing. Like my intuition is that strong and I encourage you to develop your intuition to be that strong too. I do. You deserve that. You deserve to just know. And and with finances, you got to just know. You do. And, and I'm not, what I'm telling you is not bullshit. I just want to say something. This is my own testimony. Um, I used to, I, 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 I used to a long time ago. Oh my gosh. I used to struggle with precise manifestation. I was very good at manifestation always and still ha am. But I was, it was, it was difficult for me to manifest precisely and also um, to tap into my intuition in a way that is, was so acute, right? Um, through the ways that I just expressed to you of sensing your own intuition, I was able to like, if I don't have money or I need money, I can manifest that. I can speak it into the universe and I always receive it. I always receive it or whatever I needed to pay somehow got taken care of or it wasn't as much money, or I, it works. It works. I'm not, I, listen, I'm chosen in many ways, but this, this ability to manifest is not unique to me, baby. I'm speaking out to y'all the message. You deserve to be able to manifest like that. Okay. So with finances, there is a need for you to shift mentally, um, the scarce mentality. Okay, and if you have already done that or are doing it, this is confirmation that you're on the right path. And again, these are the eight of wands. Please expect messages fast coming in. A lot of emails, messages, this idea, this business plan, whatever it is that you're about to launch or apply for or what, whatever it is, expect communication, baby. Expect it. I'm telling you, all right? All right, and then the last card is the Hierophant. So I would love some clarification on this Hierophant, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I might do another reading. I'm kind of feeling another reading. Oh, Page of Pentacles and the Lover's card after that. Oh, sorry. Gemini Energy. 
And this is about the Hierophant because I said this is about something official. And I'm really wondering what this is. Does it have to do with the court, the Hierophant there? Does it have to do with the court system? Does it have to do with your executives at your company? What does it have to do with? Let me get two more cards, please. That's five more cards, probably not. Can I get two more cards? That's one card. Can I get two? one more card? One more. Mm, that's too many cards, guys. Sorry. Oh. Can I get one more card, please? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Y'all are about, someone's about to win a court case. Someone's about to win a court case. One of y'all, your ex-husband or wife is about to be real big mad. Okay. You've been worrying about this person trying to take your finances or something. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. There's a lot to confirm this too. So first of all, this person's energy, they might be a Gemini or a Gemini is somehow involved in your world, right? Um, we have this, this, um, page of pentacles here. The pages are about messengers. So this message is about your finances, but it has to do with the courts. Remember I said, what's this message about with the, with the hierophant? This is, thank you. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate you. Um, cause the messages are just coming out so clear, so clear. We've got, and, and this pen, ten, this lets me know it's about finances and it's coming. It, it has to do with, uh with the court system, something official, maybe a decision you're waiting on to be made. It might not even be courts. It might be some sort of official decision you're waiting on. For example, if you're waiting on a work visa, do you understand? You're waiting, some, something you're waiting to hear back on, some sort of official acceptance or approval is what I'm hearing. Um, that is going in your favor. There's a message coming in about this, okay? And then right after that, we've got the lover's card. This is, this is consuming you. You're obsessed with this. And it, and I'm so sorry that you've been waiting on this answer for so long. It's going to go in your favor. You're probably really worried, especially if this is some sort of court case. You're probably really concerned of if it's going to go in your favor or if it's not, or better said, it, you maybe you know it's not going to go in your favor and you're like, how bad is it going to be? So this is really consuming your thoughts. And I see you looking to heaven, wondering what, what do I do? And I got to be honest with you. You got to stop thinking about this because it's going to go in your favor there. It's going to go in your favor. It's going to go in your favor. Listen, the advice here right after this is the four of pentacles reversed. Remember how I told you this is about a message about money or like, an, you know what I mean? When it comes to this hierophant, this is someone obsessed with um, with this situation, uh, absolutely obsessed, wondering where is it going to lead me? What, what, what is it going to take from me? Or what do I have to invest in this? Um, consuming all their thoughts. And this is reversed. This is reversed. And it's definitely blocking their crown chakra. Do you see the thoughts on the crown? It's blocking their crown chakra the same way this coin is blocking the crown on this head. This came out reversed as advice to you to please not do this. This is not something you want to do. You are going to manifest the wrong outcome because as of right now, this person, this king of wands, who this could be man, this could be female or male, okay? Um they are not going to be it's not in their favor. You think that it is or you think that there's some going to be some sort of maybe harsh judgment or denial or you're not going to be accepted, you know, something like that. Maybe you apply to a college, a university, you know, maybe you decide after all this time, I'm going for my master's or I'm going for my PhD and you're waiting and, and you're, you know, you're a grown ass adult. If you're so, obviously, if you're, cause it takes a long time to get to that point. Right. Um, even if you start high school or college fresh out of high school, it takes a long time to get complete your master's. And so you're a full ass adult. You understand? It's like, this is you you know that this isn't small for you that it's a, if if this university doesn't accept this is an example this could be something else for you this could be a job a job application right you know that if that things are riding on this maybe maybe there's something going on like this for example you know you're going to have to move if you get accepted to that school but you need to get information about that the acceptance letter before you renew your lease, which is soon approaching, like some shit like that. So you're kind of worried and you're kind of like, is this decision going to go in my favor? 
is this court case or this application, there's something that it involves an over, like an, um, like, um, uh, let's a panel, a judge, hiring committee. Do you understand? There's an oversight, executive oversight, official oversight in this situation that directly affects you. And I'm seeing here that it's going to go in your favor. And to that, to not, uh, not think that this other person's going to win or that you're not going to, in general, that this just isn't going to go in your favor. You need to not, but uh, yeah, please don't think that. Okay. And then crossing this energy is the seven of swords. Seven of swords here lets me know this is a toxic trait of yours. This is a very toxic trait of yours. And since it's, excuse me, the seven of swords in particular here, um, the message from your angels is that, hey, you are overdue on removing this, this, this mindset or this block that you have, because that's really what it is, is some sort of toxic trait that you have when it comes to obsessing over things and really fear mongering yourself baby. And, and I get it. it. It affects you directly. It's like, of course, it's going to overwhelm you. Come on. You, you're a quilt of emotions. Got to regulate it. Got to give yourself some time. Listen, if you're having a freak out, for example, if you're having a freak out, you need to go ahead and give yourself an hour to feel the feels. I'll give yourself, give yourself permission to cry, to be upset, to be anxious. But then after that, it's done. It, you'd be surprised how much it works because there's something about giving yourself permission to do that, but also giving it a, a giving yourself an exit plan that could probably work for a lot of you when it comes to not even just, not even just this, right? Um, love, anything that is not in your control, because for Pisces, it is very difficult for us sometimes, um, to let go of, control and as a fish you're flowing through water and so we feel dominant in the water and the flows of life right to the point where we feel like we control the flows of life we're such magical beings we can control timelines we can control reality we can absolutely fucking lutely. but when you start getting into this 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 god mentality that then you become bitter when it doesn't go your way you see what i'm saying because you can't control every outcome. You can't. You can't. Even th 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 talk to talk to any professional athlete. Ask them if every single game is an amazing, perfect game. They're gonna be like, "Ha! Ah, I fucking wish." <laughs> like, you know. But are they the best in the fucking league? Yes. But not everything goes. It not always goes as planned. That doesn't change how you approach shit, how you walk onto the field, how you take a hit, how you keep pushing, how you play the next game, how you come back. Okay, someone needed to hear that. Okay, email me if you need a reading. Uh, or go to anyone you feel led to. It has been a pleasure and an honor to read for you. Um, I'm speaking love and joy and peace into your world.